Now we're going to construct a relative frequency distribution based on the frequency distribution which is contained in these numbers here. Okay, so we want to do this. So let's, we'll, we'll put it over here in these columns. So we'll set up a relative uh, frequency distribution over here. Uh, we need some entries for 986 and some entries for 2016. Right, so our relative frequency distribution is just reporting instead of the kind of the raw number in, in thousands, we want it to be a percentage of the total which is contained down here, right? So we're going to need a formula for that. We're going to go equals to start the formula and we'll select the amount of workers in agriculture in 986 and divide that by the total. Okay, and that's it. Enter. And that gives us um, the, the, the fraction or the decimal, so 0 0.06 or 6%. And just like before, we can click on the percent and that will express this as a percent. Let's give ourselves one decimal place. Okay, so that's easy. That's the first entry of the relative frequency distribution for 1986. Uh, now, we want this for all of the industries right the way down. And so it would be nice to think that we could just click so just get the little uh, solid cross here and double click and copy them all down but it doesn't work okay I'm double clicking it doesn't work what's the problem with this kind of formula we have 427 this this cell here divided by the total this one here so what excel is thinking when we move down to the second cell is that it wants to do 99.7 divided by this one shifting everything down by one cell Okay, but that's a problem because there's nothing here, 99.7 divided by an empty cell, that's not going to work. So here is what we have to do. We just might have to make a small modification to this formula right here, such that when we copy this formula down to all of these cells, it keeps shifting down the choice of cell here. So when we put it here, we want to look at the 99.7, uh, which is in cell B8, but we want to keep fixed this total cell, the 7034, which is in B26. And in particular, we don't want to start moving further down these rows. We want to fix the 26 in this formula. So the way that we fix the 26 is we go back up to this formula that we entered before. You can see it's uh, written up here. And the, the cell that we want to fix, the 26, we put a dollar sign in front of it. So that tells Excel that when we copy this um, formula down to the other cells, it's free, it, it can change the 7, it's free to change the 7, but it's not free to change the 26, that will remain fixed. Okay, so that's the only change we need to make, we'll hit enter there. Uh, and now let's copy this down to the remainder of the cell. So we'll select that cell and um, we'll go copy. So I'm just using the keyboard shortcut there, um, Command C or Control C, and that cell has now been copied and then I'm going to select all of the range of cells that we want to include in the, the copied range. And then I'm going to go Command V for paste and it gets copied in all the way down. Then we get 100% obviously when this is getting divided by itself but these are all the individual uh, percentages that we need for the relative frequency distribution for 1986. Then if we want to take those and just have a look at what's happened with this copy by the way so we originally had b7 divided by b with 26 fixed and now we have b8 with b26 fixed okay so excel has updated the 7 to 8 and then the 8 to 9 and so on but in each one of these cells what's in the bottom line is still the 26 which is what we want in this in this kind of calculation and let's just select all of these cells now like this, I'm just using the keyboard to, to select all of those and command C to copy and just go to 2016. And now what this copy is going to do when we shift it across one column, uh, what we're going to see is that all of the columns get increased by one. Okay, so have a look at this formula here. This used to be, for, for 1986, it used to be B7 divided by B26. Because we've copied this across one column, it's shifted across the columns as well. So the columns are now C, referring to 2016. Okay, so we don't have to make any updates to this formula in order to copy it across for the subsequent year. 
um, that's all we can do is uh, we'll just bold that and we're finished. We have our relative frequency distribution.